Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? Uh, we got a different kind of video today. Like I told you guys, I was gonna start a uh, junk removal business. Got it started, got the um, t-shirts, the business cards, I got signs on the side of my truck. And in such short notice, I landed my first job today, as you can see behind me. I got a mattress back there and then on my little trailer that you can't even see, but I'll throw up a picture of what it looks like loaded down. I'm actually completely loaded down with my little Harbor Freight trailer. Like I told you guys, I put walls on it. I know I'm jumping so much into the future. I didn't even like film the beginning of this video of me landing the job and stuff, but I'm assuming I got it off Google because I started my Google ads today and I have a business phone number and they called me from the business phone number. So it definitely wasn't like word of mouth or something because I had, this was my first job ever. But I landed a job, first day ever running Google Ads, just looked up how to run Google Ads and how to like rank good on Google and stuff. Put a budget of $10, so we landed my first job and I text them a link saying, thank you for uh, using Elite Hauling and Junk Removal. If you could go ahead and leave me a positive review, I'd appreciate that. So hopefully I get a positive review from them that would really kickstart you know, the business and help me out with growing and stuff. <clears throat> But yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, pretty excited, honestly. I didn't think I'd get a job the first day running on Google Ads with a budget of $10 a day. That's honestly pretty crazy. And the only other thing, I was posted on Craigslist, one ad, but that's been posted for over a week now, and I got no, I got one bite off that. Someone texted me, but fell through. But got this loaded down. I'm gonna go to my house really quick because I gotta screw a few things on this trailer. Like the back gate, I just, I'll show you guys when I get back, but I gotta screw it in because it's just flopping all over the place. If I hit a big bump, it might just pop right off. So I'm gonna go home, fix the trailer up a little bit, then make the drive to the dump. Um, like I said, I probably already threw up a picture of what this load looks like, my guess. I mean, honestly, it's my first job, so I have no idea how heavy this load's gonna be, but the back of my pickup and my trailer is completely full, but it's a small trailer, four by eight trailer that I got from Harbor Freight with just walls on it now. So we're gonna see what it's gonna cost me. And a funny story is I actually charged 120. Like I said, I was <clears throat> going around on uh, Craigslist and looking at like people that you could tell don't have a legit business, but like the people that probably do it on the weekends and just fill up the back of their pickup truck with probably no license or anything. But I have a legit LLC and like I said, business name and everything and website. And so I was just gonna price it like those guys just even though the people I've been doing on the weekends probably been doing it a little bit longer than me and can do it faster and stuff and just know a little bit better. I thought, hey, I'll just start where these people are pricing their stuff, these Craigslist ads. I'm just gonna start at that price. And so I did that. And right when I'm leaving, the dude's like, hey, you should price out your competitors because you're way too cheap. And I was like, I was like, haha. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I'm just trying to get business get the business rolling, and then I'll probably up the prices when I get a nicer trailer and stuff. And he was like, oh yeah, definitely, that sounds like a good idea. But he was telling me right off the bat that I was too, I was way undercutting the prices, like I was too cheap. But I'm sure he probably, would, if he got me off Google, he probably Googled 1-800-JUNK or Junk King or someone like that that's probably gonna charge 250 to come pick up something like that. Cause they just can pick and choose their jobs because they probably have so many people to call on their phone, they're not gonna nickel and dime it. But, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm almost home, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do to the trailer, then we're gonna head off to the dump and see how much this thing costs to dump, so stay tuned. All right, so this is what I came up with at the house. I had these bull rings already at the house, so I just screwed these on into the two by fours that are in the couplings on the side. And I let my dad screw these uh, big, uh, I don't even know what those are called, but they're just like big screws and it seems like he didn't drill a pilot hole. So it's cracked on almost every single one, probably just cause he tried to drive such a big screw through that two by four, cracked them. So that sketched me out a little bit. And then what I was worried about is this isn't screwed in cause it's the back. So I want it to be able to come in and out. So I have these here to hold it. And then I had one little hitch thing, little, uh, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like a latch, so I just put it on this side, latched it, then I just have this tie on so it's not gonna unlatch itself. And that should completely hold that side closed for the most part. Obviously, I'd probably need another one down here to close that gap. But that should keep the back on just in case I hit a big bump. And then 
like I was showing you guys, that's the mattress. So when I'm driving, I can't even see this thing. So it's probably gonna be a shit show when we get to the dump and I try to back it in in front of a bunch of people. It's probably gonna be embarrassing, but we're gonna go and see how it goes and I'll let you guys know how much it costs to dump this load. so far away. All right. I'm going to the hand unloading section and I've been here before, so. All right, so here we go on the back end. Let's see how this goes. Wasn't too bad, I just had to hang my head out the window. <laughs> what the $44 was for, but I feel like I'd have to get reweighed because that's how they give you a price. Maybe that was a deposit, but I'm just gonna follow this other dude that has a van and a trailer and see where he goes. And if he just pulls out of here and leaves, that means it's a flat rate for a truck and trailer. But if he goes on a scale, I'll just follow him to the scale. He's right there on the other side. So you can see him pass, the guy I'm following. Okay, so he he did go by the exit, so it does look like he's going to the scales. All right, so we're going to the scales. So this is the uh, real test to see how much it is. Exit scales. Because I've been here before, but I usually only come with a pickup truck, and a pickup truck is a flat rate. It's like 12 bucks or something, so you don't have to get reweighed. But if you have a pickup truck with like plywood on the sides, that's considered modifications, and that's extra but pulling it now and I'll let you guys know how much it is. Hi. Hi. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, so as you can see, that went pretty smoothly, honestly. I'm guessing that $44 was just a down payment just in case I left and skipped the scales. But it actually came out to, on the receipt, it's gonna be backwards for you guys. You're not gonna really be able to see it. But my truck was three tons. Then it went down when I dumped all the stuff out to 2.5 tons. So the net weight was 4.7 tons or 0.47 tons, which comes out to 940 pounds. So that's how much I dropped off at the dump was 940 pounds of stuff and it was mainly just like wood and the mattress and stuff. And they charged me 1981, so not even 20 bucks. I charged 120 bucks for the job because it was a full load and that's what my full load cost is at the time. I'll probably bump it up in the future when I start getting more business because I heard that super, like I said, the guy told me it was, I'm way too cheap and he thinks I should bump my prices up, but 
I'm fine with being cheap just because I'm trying to get my name out there and stuff and hand out business cards and get good reviews for being cheap and stuff, but still being kind of professional. I definitely need to upgrade the trailer, but I can't afford it right now. So we're just gonna keep getting jobs, keep undercutting the competition, saving up money, then we'll get hopefully a nicer trailer. Now I'm just gonna go home and probably load my truck up with some scrap metal that I need to get rid of for my dad and go make some money off that because if you didn't know, you get paid for dropping metal off at the scrap yards. But yeah, that, I'm, I'm gonna say that was, uh, I got really lucky. I got a job on my first day running ads. It re went really smoothly. Didn't really have any hiccups or anything. Probably took me a total of an hour and a half to get that job done. Probably spent five bucks in gas. And like I said, $20 to dump that stuff off. But the guy gave me a $20 tip. So that completely covered dump fees. And... <laughs> I would say I was a job well done. I got, I guess you could say it's just beginner's luck because I almost want to say that I went too smooth and that worked out too well. But yeah, that's all I got really got for this video. If you guys enjoyed, just let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. That really helps me out and helps my channel grow. I'm almost at a thousand subs, which is kind of crazy for the amount of videos I have out. I think I don't even know. I don't even think I have more than 10. I might have 10. I probably have like 10 videos out or something. I got to go check and I got to get more videos up. It's just I'm not really couch flipping that much anymore. So I can't like film every day like I used to. I'll be lucky if I get like one couch a week nowadays. But I'm probably going to start mainly doing junk remove, obviously, if I'm getting enough business. And then I could do like couch flipping on Sundays because that's when I seem to be able to pick up a couch because I feel like a lot of couch flippers don't like working on Sundays just because. It's probably older people that don't like working on Sundays. But I don't mind working on Sundays because I'm usually bored and that's usually when the most couches get listed in garage sales and stuff like that. But any anyways, I'm rambling on too much. Um, if, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, like you want to know how I started this business or how much it costs, stuff like that, just comment below. And that's all I got for this one. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.